Hey there, boneheads. Thanks for stopping by for another recipe. Um, today we're doing a very easy recipe. I'd call it kind of a beginner recipe or a cornerstone recipe. It's something that we rely on all the time. We're making a grilled goose breast. And why do I call this a beginner's recipe? Because if you've never cooked goose breast before, you're not very familiar with it. Excuse me. Downside of drinking a beer when you're filming. Um, or maybe you go on a hunt and it's one of the first times you take a goose breast or you're just unsure how to make it. This is the recipe, this is our go-to recipe that we tell people about. If they're asking us, hey, how should I cook this? I'm thinking about doing this. Is that a good call or not? We tell them to go the grilled goose breast route. It's very easy. It's going to shock a lot of people because most people when they've had goose, um, they think of it being overcooked and dry. So we're going to walk you through the steps and show you how we make a, a grilled goose breast. Now, if you are a fan of this channel and you've watched our prior recipes, you know, plus I'm gonna put the link up here, we have made a grilled goose breast with the sous vide. I'm a big fan of the sous vide. And if you watch that video to, to this day, I think that is the best way you can prepare a goose breast to eat. As far as eating it as it's whole, not making it pulled or getting all fancy with it, a bunch of other ingredients. To me, that's the best way. It's perfectly good, cooked, great char great flavor, but not everybody has a sous vide. A lot of people have a grill or you could probably even use a cast iron. Don't go spoiling that. We might make a recipe for that down the road. So here we go. Easy grilled goose breast. Check it out. Quick side note, boneheads. This goose breast is coming from a recent hunt that we just had. I'm going to put the link right here. Make sure you check out this episode. Nine geese, four man limited ducks, four great friends you can't ask for anything else. So if you're wondering where this meat came from, check out that link, it's a great hunt. All right, get that goose breast in some cold water and dump your salt in. I like to let this meat soak, usually for three to five days, and I'll change that water out at least once. Go ahead and rinse it off, throw that meat down and start trimming. Get that silver skin off, any fat, veins, anything that doesn't look right or that you don't want on that meat go ahead and get it off you want this to look like a nice steak when it's all trimmed up now that you've got that meat looking good you're going to go ahead and marinate it now i only had an hour today but ideally you want to marinate this meat for somewhere between four hours to overnight i'm using a sweet asian barbecue today get that in there mix it up and put it in the fridge until you're ready to cook Today, I'm leaving the marinade on, so I've pulled the goose breast out, and I'm gonna season it with some steak seasoning. Now here, I should have started on the bottom side, stupid me. I'm gonna season on the top side, flip it, hit the bottom side, and then I'm gonna have to touch up that top side again. But again, be heavy with that steak seasoning, give it a nice coating, it's gonna stick to it with that marinade, and now you're ready for the grill. Now, when I'm cooking this goose breast on the grill, I like the grill to be somewhere between 400 and 425 degrees. The key to this is we're cooking indirect and we're gonna flip it every five minutes for 20 minutes. So throw it on there, here's a quick shot. Get that lid shut. Five minutes later, we're coming right back. Now we're not gonna sauce on this turn, we're just gonna flip it. All right, now's the time to make that sauce. Don't overthink it today. I'm keeping it simple. Barbecue sauce and Dorothy Lynch. That's where it's at, guys. All right, that 10 minute mark, we're gonna top flip that meat and then we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice coating with that sauce. Fifteen minutes in now, we're gonna give it one last turn, hit it with some sauce, and we're getting close. I tell you what, it's gonna smell good, it sounds good, and it's gonna taste good.
Here's a shot of what that goose breast looks like at 20 minutes. It looks perfect, but if you wanna be safe, go ahead and use a meat probe. Today, when I checked this at 20 minutes, we were sitting right around 138, 140 degrees. That's where you want it. Depending how your grill's running, you might have to go 25 minutes. In that case, flip it one more time and sauce it. Now that we've got this inside, it looks good. I let it rest for a couple of minutes before cutting into it. And again, we're looking for that perfect medium all the way through. Yep, nailed that one. Perfect medium, top to bottom, side to side. That's exactly how you want your goose breast to look. All right, boneheads, there you have it. A simple grilled goose breast. Uh, we just cut into this. As you can see, that is perfect medium all the way through it. You don't want to take it anywhere past that. Only one thing left to do. Let's give this a taste. So I'm going to cut off just spread sauce. I'm going to cut off a little edge piece here so I get a little bit of that rub or that seasoning, the sauce, a little bit of that marinade, hopefully. That perfectly tender meat. Cheers. Oh, as Biff would say, bon appetit. That's a hell of a piece of meat right there. And I tell you what, I've, I've cooked this or I've seen people eat this recipe that have their mind made up that goose breast cannot be good. You cannot make it taste this good. And they'll admit that they're wrong. You'll, t you'll see it in their face when they take that first couple of bites. Like, holy cow, this is actually pretty good. That's a great recipe. It's very simple. Put it on the grill for 20 minutes and you've got a great meal. Tonight, I'm going to have these with a little bit of uh, some, some peppers. Uh, mushrooms, onions, you could add a little bit of rice with it. It's a great meal. Don't forget, a staple. Get yourself a cold bush light. We'll catch you next time, Boneheads. Thanks for tuning in.